everyone, Abby here at Purple Cottage Crafts, and this is definitely not my usual filming space. I'm hoping you can hear me because I have a fan going. I'm upstairs and I'm sitting on my bed, and I've just been doing a lot of stitching the last few days. I have um, a couple things I can show you. Oh, if I can reach them. Um, that I've been working on. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I would love it if you did because I do lots of little sneaky peeks and kind of share projects or little, just little things I'm working on or what have you. And so, oh, make sure my blanket's up here. I got my, I got my jammies on, but nobody wants to see me in my jammies. Um, so what I've been doing, this is some fabric that I um, thrifted, trying to find my way here because it's a different setup. It's like this waffle texture. It's like a big chunk of it, and it had like some weird shapes cut out. I love finding remnants like that. So I've been using that. I just cut it down. I probably got maybe a total of two yards-ish, somewhere in there. So I just cut it down to some small little squares. And this is what I have been up to. Um, when, you know, just when my pain gets pretty intense. I know this isn't the best lighting. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find it. It's just, uh, this is a different angle for me. So I've just been doing lots and lots of tiny little stitches. And this is for no other reason than just to do it. So, because I have a really hard time sleeping. I think I have insomnia um, mixed in with my chronic pain. So I've just been doing little stitches. This one I used um, this pearl variegated. Try not to move you. I propped on baskets of fabrics and on a book <laughs> so hopefully you won't fall down but um which I also thrifted these too so I use a couple, I have a lighter one and I have a darker one I'm not sure where the darker one is so I did that and this one actually started um I posted about this on Insta I posted this one on Instagram too and then I started the second one that I, I posted on Instagram I think just last night just trying to go to sleep I, I'm guessing it was right about here I did roughly that much of it. I did just, you know, well, about 2.30 this morning, I guess you could say. And those are super tiny, tiny, itty bitty stitches. Itty bitty bitty stitches. All I'm doing is just going, um, this is the third one I'm going to start tonight. All I'm doing is just going in and out of those little, of those little squares. So, you know, nothing big. Just, it's kind of like adult coloring for me a little bit and just relaxing. And it's something I can do. I'm sitting there watching TV with Steve or, you know, whatever. So I've been working on that. So this is kind of like a check-in video and just kind of let you know what I'm working on now, what I'm doing. I know I haven't had any content up for a little bit. Um, it's been pretty heavy with like, you know, hauls or things I've thrifted, which is part of my channel as well. But I also want to get back to actually creating things and sharing stuff with you guys too. So I have been working on things um, behind the scenes and I just haven't gotten completed. But I thought I'd go ahead and bring up my camera upstairs so I could do um, just kind of a quick, well, I don't know if it'll be quick or not, Gabby Abby, <laughs> kind of a, you know, um, just kind of checking in. I'll figure out what the title is. Basically just saying hi. Um, let me backtrack. I should have started this off this way first. I apologize for being so rude. How are all of you doing? I hope everybody is um, still staying safe and healthy and sane. I know that being um, under quarantine, and I know that here in the States, um, I don't know about outside the U.S. as much, but I do know in the States here, in different states within the United States, have different levels of um, you know, the shelter in place or the quarantine. Oh, I, I've heard from different people I follow on YouTube. Some states have um, a little bit tougher rules with it. Like one lady I was watching, she was in Pennsylvania, and she had said that um, effective like the next day, and this was like last week, I think, or this weekend, I can't remember exactly. She had said that um, that they had enforced in Pennsylvania that if you're outside without a mask, you can get a ticket. And so, um, like I know, like a lot of the local transportation um like buses and stuff that are still running that i guess they have to for you know um kind of keep essential workers going and things like that that they are not letting people on buses without masks and things like that so i know it's still um very much in our face the worldwide and i'm speaking outside the u.s now i was just referencing some of the shelter and in place things i've heard around here in the states um and i've tried not to do um videos focusing on this situation so much because I know that some people are having a hard time and want to like like you know, escape from it a little bit but because I do this channel not just for um to share stuff with all of you but it's also a 
video diary documentary type of thing for me and for my kids and whatnot and so I do want to document you know that this is happening right now and kind of some things that I'm working on during you know the whole COVID-19 and the shelter in place stay at home type of thing that's going on so since I don't work from work anymore due to not my choice due to um, medical my doctors put me on disability gosh when was it 2016 so being at home all the time is something I'm used to unfortunately I hate to say that because but I was before I got sick or not sick before I got my my disease I was at all the time worked full-time you know I had both kids in high school middle school and then and even younger and sports and all the activities that teenagers have and things of that nature and doing stuff with friends and so I know that if I was still working and that was just like cut I would be like what do I do with my life right like what's going on so for those of you who do work outside the home um, and are not considered an essential worker in the in the context of what you know the the state it, the states are saying I think everybody's essential in their job but I know what they mean in this in this particular um, application or situation I guess and um, you know what that must be like to just like all of a sudden like whoa you know I'm just home all day and I'm you know for some of you know I'm sure it's a maybe a little bit like oh you know I can sleep a little bit you know because you all get tired and blah 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 but you know just um so I, I don't know what it's like for all of you but and I hope that you all are coping as well as you possibly can um there are some different channels that I've watched on YouTube that are still doing their creative stuff but they kind of talk about ways to kind of get through this current situation and I know there's lots of hashtags on Instagram for that um, I know a lot of artists are and different um, teachers and instructors who do workshops in person and online have been offering free patterns for different stitching things and you know um, Nellie Wartman she's just posted a free um, class that she's doing online so what I, I, th I thought I would do is just because I want to assemble everything together is I will um, kind of put together a list of um, the different things I just mentioned and then not all of them just the ones I know of because I'm sure there's way more than I know about and maybe I'll do like just a quick video and that way if you're looking for other people to watch or things you know um, that are still creative and you're trying to find ways to stay creative when you're kind of in quarantine that might be of interest to some of you I'm not sure um, if it is you can watch it and if not you know you don't have to of course so um, I'll try to assemble something like that in the next day or two and um, but here in Oregon at least for my part of, of, of the world um, you know it's not required to wear masks outside or gloves or anything but of course everybody is I haven't been outside like meaning left in my car left the house I decided to go drive down and get the mail of course um, it's probably been a little over a week for me and um, Steve's just trying to really keep me home um, just because of some other medical stuff I have, you know, I, I don't, he doesn't want me to be, you know, um, exposed. Nobody should be exposed, but people who have certain medical conditions can make it even trickier. So he's just really trying to keep me home. Um, you know, we have gone out on some drives and stuff in the, in the, his truck and stuff, you know, just like, I don't know, like half hour drive just to get out of the house, just kind of look and on some country roads and things like that. Just trying to find some different things to do break up the day a little bit um, our daughter she is a grocery store worker and she is considered an essential worker so she is going out to work every day um, so please uh, keep her look keep everybody in your thoughts and prayers whether you're working or you're not but especially if you um, for those that have to be out there on the front line all the medical personnel the store people the delivery people the postal service I, I don't want to leave anybody out but all of those people who are still out going out of the house every day and doing what needs to be done dealing with the public not dealing with the public but you know what i mean going out and making our world still function for all of us that are shopping online getting deliveries able to go to the store and get groceries people delivering food obviously the medical facility medical people all in a lump um i used to be a nurse i'm not sure if, if anybody knew knew that um i was an OBGYN nurse for about seven years and then I switched careers just because I was a single mom at the time and I wanted I was missing out on a lot of my kids' school stuff and it goes by like that and so I made the decision to switch careers and I went and did administrative work at the school district for 10 years until I had to leave because of my current medical situation so the nurse in me is like even though I've been out for a long time makes you like want to go dust off my scrub so to speak and get back out there and help in whatever capacity I can but you know it's not an option for me so 
um, I just, you know, just thoughts and prayers to everybody. And I hope you're all doing okay. I'm not trying to linger on this topic too, too long. But I just wanted to see how you all are doing. Um, you know, I'd love to know what kind of things you're working on or whatever kind of projects. Well, it doesn't have to be even crafting. It could be with maybe you're gardening. Tons of our neighbors have been, I mean, out doing all kinds of yard work. Us included. Well, not me. I've just been kind of watching Steve do it. But, you know, he power washed all the, the around the whole outside of the house and all the... the around the RV bay and the front and the back patio and all that kind of stuff and working in the lawn you know it's 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 been it's almost like a little parade out here every day because so many of our neighbors are out walking with their families on bicycle rides and everybody's got masks and when we go to the mailbox we are outside doing stuff everybody very politely steps away you know the whole six feet thing at least and it's just been kind of I don't know if I want to say it's been nice but it's been this is the most that we've seen most of our neighbors because everybody's just kind of out because it's been nice weather and everybody's just been real friendly and hey do you need this do you need that and stuff you know and so like this sense of community and it's sad that it takes something like this to bring that out but on a positive that's been you know something we've witnessed and have seen um let's see what else do i want to say about that i guess that's really it i just wanted to kind of check in and see how you're all doing and uh, yeah, let me know what kind of things you're doing, whether you're baking or you're just maybe doing more walking. If you're in an area where you can walk and not be around a bunch of the people, um, like I said, gardening, doing all kinds of crafting. Maybe you're picking up some, a new type of crafting that you wanted to try and you're just now giving it a whirl. Or whether you're just writing, reading books, I don't know, sewing, clothing, or maybe doing nothing, just watching movies, which is totally cool because I do that too. Matter of fact, um, I'm watching. Well, I can't pick it up and show you very well, so I messed up my little, <laughs> my little temporary setup here. But I've been. I have my laptop out. You can see it right here. I've been listening to some BBC radio dramas, and I will link in this video uh, a couple of the channels that I really like. Um, in case you're interested in that, I love um, radio dramas, um, specifically um, the BBC because I love the accents. <laughs> it's just it's very enjoyable to me. So I listen to a lot of that. Some of it's drama, like not like you know, like like not drama like you know cat fighting drama like you know soap opera type drama and they're about it ranged from about you know anywhere from 25 minutes to an hour and a half you can kind of pick which length you want and and to like murder mystery there's agatha christie ones i like so i've been doing that in between my classic movies and watching youtube videos and things like that and it's been doing a lot of stitching and stuff so um the really the difference for me as far as like the whole shelter in place is I'm just not out thrifting like I was um, which I feel really silly even saying that because you know that's like uh, so not even important in the grand scheme of things but as far as how it's affected me in that regard is just getting out and doing that um, you know I was still going to my physical therapy when I had that I was still going to that once a week I think I mentioned that weeks ago I've been done with that for I don't know probably at least two three weeks i've lost i've kind of lost track of time and um and then i was still you know i have to go to my doctor for my um trigeminal neurology check checkups that i do i did have my final post op for my um tendon repair on this finger um via phone and if i needed to, you know because we did a like a webex thing and then um if i had any questions post that call just to send take pictures and send it in and you know we'd work it out that way so that was a little bit different but you know it makes sense um, why they're doing that trying to limit exposure oh i forgot to say when i was talking about my daughter going out with her being um an essential worker my son he is a dj and um he um, has a contract with the uh, university of oregon which is in eugene oregon it's like one of the state colleges here and or university and obviously it's closed so the venue that he would always dj in every week for their different parties and events you know um that's not happening and you know he's got a son and you know and that kind of stuff to support so a huge answer to prayer he was able to pick up a job working at a grocery store down there and he's doing really good they are also getting hazard pay so um he's got a lot of um a lot more hours and stuff like that and so he's working the graveyard shift and emily um kyron's mama is um she's a cna she works in a nursing home so she has to work um as well so they're taking all the precautions with being around kyron and everything so they're able to between the two of them and her sister who lives with them because she just had a baby about five months ago um in their house that they have 
and so she's able to help with Kyron and stuff. So that's um, totally answer to prayer that Trey was able to pick up a job. And while the, his, you know, he's not able to do the DJ and he gets booked for other events and stuff and those aren't happening. So that was a little bit of a scary thing for him. And I know a lot of people are going through that. Um, but as far as my immediate family, so a huge answer to prayer that, that he got that job. And it's not like they, and they didn't say it's not like seasonal. They said, you know, you're hired, he's full time. And, you know, there's, when, once COVID is over, it doesn't mean that he's going to lose his job. He can continue that job if he chooses to do so, which he probably will. It's graveyard. So that would actually work out pretty good. Anyway. I digress. So I'm just really proud of both of my kiddos for um, getting out there and making sure everybody has the food and the, and the groceries and things that they need in the stores. And um, yeah, so I'm definitely praying for everybody who has been affected by this, whether it's, you know, just in every aspect you can think of. I mean, I can't even imagine for people who have no income at all. That'd be so scary. Um, thank, thank the Lord. Steve's job is 100% remote ever since we moved back from Florida. So his job hasn't been affected at all, minus just not traveling as much as he was, because obviously there's no traveling right now. So thankfully, we're, we're good on that front. And I, I'm not boasting. I'm just being very grateful. And I know if there's a lot of you who, um, not necessarily you, but people in the world in general. So anyway, I didn't mean to blab that long. I'm so sorry. You can I'll put a thing in the description to fast forward to what I, this kind of stuff, if you don't want to are interested in that jabber so but i just want to let you know that i am thinking about all of you and praying for everybody um as a whole and hoping everybody is staying healthy and um and all that good stuff and if there's anything i can do i mean there's not much i can do except just to pray or you know if you want to message me or email me or something i'm you know you can always get a hold of me via those routes and that information is always linked below so just for moral support or whatever it is i can do to try to help everybody get through this as much as we can all right so back to crafting stuff so what i'm working on now is i just wanted to oh oh don't let me well don't this isn't a live video i can't tell you don't let me forget let me put this over here so i don't forget it put it right there so i don't forget okay so what i'm working on now is i'm just getting ready to start a slow stitch cover for a journal which i will have up for sale when i get it done so i'll be oh it's kind of hard to get it all in frame this way i'm sorry it's kind of to the side but just making do for the situation i'm set, set up in right now so this is a i don't have anything pinned down yet because i'm still doing the layout construction or layout configuration so what i'm using is um uh, for the base and I have a little scrap of it here. What do I do with it? Oh, well, let's use this. So, oh, what do I do with it? So, you know those linen um, drop cloths you can get from the Home Improvement Store, Amazon, Walmart, whatever. Well, I have a couple of those that I bought with the purpose to, to use in this application um, and I washed them a couple times, you know, got them to be all nice and Pretty, you know, pretty soft and they're frayed and I love how that looks. So I'm making some canvas um, or drop cloth journals. I have a small one here that I just, and, you know, this again isn't set in stone. This is just like the base layer of what I'm thinking. And I have it pinned together, but it's what, oh, you know, it's going to be a, book, a journal cover. But I'm going to make this little smaller size one and just kind of pinning because I'm thinking about stitching it over like this. I'm trying to make it work semi straight, sorry. So I just kind of have it pinned there so I can think about it. And then I'm thinking about, you know, doing an embroidered type of a, of a saying or something on here. Um, you know, whatever the theme might be, which I never really know until I'm actually inside the book when I will start working on the pages and stuff. So I'll complete the guts of the book, you know, all the different papers and things. I'll do that out in my um, craft room because it's, you know, it's easier to do that kind of stuff out there for me where all my different things are but I can use the fabric stuff up here at least start them so I started that one today just pinned it and then this one here this is actually open all the way and what I did and I'll take this off here is I just you know I kind of sort of measure but not really I just kind of want to have some different lengths I don't want it to always be the standard you know traveler's notebook type of size I like to have have fun with playing with different sizes and stuff so this is another one and I kept the edging on here I like how that looks so I don't have it on the back panel but that's fine it doesn't have to be matchy matchy it's kind of that collagey look and then what I did with this green stitch down the center it's just a quick little stitching that's to mark my center fold so when I'm working on this um, that way when I'm mapping out things like I just took some lace and I'm just kind of um, 
you know, I just am laying it out because I want the back to look really cute too. I'm basically just taking some scraps of different um, bits of fabrics and laces and trims and things that are vintage, some aren't, and just kind of placing things down to see what I would like and how I would like it to go. Like this, I cut out from a fabric or um, a fabric from a sheet. And this is actually from some fabric by the yard. I think I got it from Walmart, from Waverly brand or something. This is off of, if you watch my uh, thrifted laces and things video, this is from that bedding, that art, excuse me, from that tablecloth. And I just cut down a little tiny strip from another, for another project. And then this is, oh, actually this project here, this one, I cut it, the bottom part off. And this is just what's left. And so I thought, oh, well, let's kind of throw this on here and see what I think of that. And so I kind of do this, just trying to figure out what I would like things to be, where I want them to go. And so that's kind of where I stopped when I was like, oh, maybe I should just turn the camera for a little bit and just kind of gab with you guys and go from there. So this one I'll work on probably a little bit more tomorrow. I'm kind of really wanting to focus on this bigger piece so I can kind of get it started. So this one will take longer just because it's bigger. So what I gathered, and if you checked on my Instagram, if you follow me, I posted a picture and I'll pop it in here too as I'm gabbing for a moment when I go to um, edit this video, is I posted a picture of kind of like my um, color story slash mood board for this project. And so I just have a bunch of different materials and fabrics just for like the base layer. Some of this I'm going to be using um, uh, some fusible on just to kind of make it a little bit sturdier. But I just have just a variety of fabrics that I'm pulling from that I just thought would kind of go together a little bit and different textures and um, some coffee dyed stuff and little scrap bits from other projects. I've got like, you know, this netting in here, bottom of a vintage linen I was working on, just a little bit of uh, doily table runner thing I can cut little pieces out of. Um, just another random doily in here. What else do I got in here? This is really cool. This I got from a shirt I thrifted. And I don't have a whole lot of it left, so I kind of hoard it, but it's kind of fun. So I thought I might use a little bit of that. This little bit of textile that I have. Um, here's a vintage um, hanky, so, and then this I thrifted, um, this one I thrifted actually, I found that, and I washed that and ironed it up, and then this is what I got from, I think I got this from, this I thrifted a sheet, and this I think is from Walmart, I think it's like from the Waverly brand, I can't remember exactly, and then just some different base fabrics, and then this right here, something else I thrifted, I've got two of these panels, and whoever had them before, um, I think they were trying to do some crafting with them too, so I um, was able to get some of the scraps. But that's what it looks like on the bottom. It's like a curtain panel, and it's really cool because it already it has the buttons uh, slots on the side right here. So that'll be kind of fun to use as a closure or something. So I just have part of this I can piece apart, and then I'm kind of pulling from this basket. Um, I have just different little scraps and stuff. Just things I've just been throwing in here as I'm working on other things. So that's kind of where I'm do what I'm doing with this. And um, just kind of playing around and piecing things together. And the thread, my thread selection for this project, ooh, as I find everything that I covered up, um, for the most part, these are, let's see, these two are legit old uh, or vintage thrifted threads that I've picked up. Oh, lighting's not very good. I'm so sorry. This is some um, DC floss. Net green, but that was pretty. And then I thrifted these as well. The top one I know is vintage. I got that from an estate, so I love how thin and delicate it is. And then that one there. And I might incorporate some other colors. I don't know, but this is basically, you know, I think these this color palette goes really well with what I'm showing you here. And then kind of with this one too. So I think those look really good together. So that's kind of what I'm working on. Just trying to stay busy. And then something else I finished. Now I gave a hint to this a while back in a photo on my community page. Also check that too because I do post stuff there. And then as well as on my Instagram. I was kind of showing you guys sneak peeks of uh, samples of something I was working on. Well I've completed those samples. And I don't want to show them all to you until I do the video which I plan on filming in the next couple of days. And um, so I'll just kind of give you a little, I'll fan them out a little bit and kind of give you a little sneaky peek. And yes, I'm being a tease, sorry, but I am. <laughs> I want to save this for the video. So I'm trying to fan these out here real quick. So 
um, just because it'll make more sense when I do the video and be like, oh, okay. So, we kind of get these together here. So, these are oh, some little slow stitch sampler pieces that I've been working on over the past few weeks. And I will show each one up close and personal in a detail to you and explain why I've made these and um, what it's all about. So I just need to gather a few more things together from um, my stuff out in the RV bay. And then I need to find a day where I, because I want to do a fit. I want to do part of it as a face video to make it a little more personal. So you guys can see me and we can chit chat and stuff. So um, I just noticed my camera is about to die. So I, what I would like to do is to do is to come back tomorrow when it's better light, when it's more daylight, cause it's almost, it's after eight o'clock here, is to have my pieces kind of laid out and already pinned together. That way I don't have to focus on trying to you know talk and figure out what I want to use. Um, and then I can just kind of stitch and we, I can just kind of do like a little, little chitty chat with you guys. So if you have any topics you want me to talk about, any questions or anything about anything, or something like that that you'd like me to talk about. I know it's not much notice. I'm going to put it up tonight and it'll be sometime tomorrow. Um, maybe even the day. I don't know what day of the week it is. Maybe even the day after tomorrow. We'll see. And then um, I'll just kind of chit chat with you all. I'm just stitching some pieces together, whether it be on this one or this project. And then, um, and if I don't, nobody asks me anything specifically and I feel up to doing it again tomorrow, I'll just, just gab, I guess. So maybe I'll do like a poll on my community page or ask questions. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, I mean, you know, gabby yabby here. I can always find something to talk about, I suppose. I just don't want to bore you. <laughs> so anyway, just wanted to check in and see how you're all doing. I miss everybody. Um, I promise you I have some actual crafting videos in the works. I finished, oh, real quick, I finished a huge project for my cabinets and I just have to put all the clips together. There's at least 40 to 45 clips I gotta sort through, trim down so it's not five hours long and um, get that together. It's a project I'm really super excited about so I wanna share that with you guys as well. So I'm working on that and um, I think that's it for this one. So please everybody take care, stay safe, stay healthy. Um, again, I'm praying for everybody as a whole to, 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 to uh, make sure everybody that you know is staying safe and healthy and um, not just that but also for you know people for jobs and employment and how that affects you know mental health and all that kind of stuff with life and everything so um, I do love everybody and I appreciate you all so very much so thank you for letting me ramble to you for almost half an hour wow Abby a lot about nothing and I will check in with you guys sometime tomorrow okay love you all see you soon bye